Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of my Brandenburg Let's Play where we just uh, pieced out the Spanish for a tremendous amount of land which is pretty cool and uh, with that being said, we're in the middle of a war with uh, this dude here actually we're about to, we could piece him out at any given time and gain massive influence over the Philippines or, well, full influence over the Philippines and other islands uh, but I'm waiting until we are no longer overextended. In the meantime, what I plan to do is take some of these units which are out here, uh, who were fighting Spain, our European units, and uh, make our way over to the Ottoman Empire to once again attack this fool. Now, what I want to do is have a, a good grasp on where our military units are. Looks like we've only got the one stack out here in Europe. So if we did declare, we'd be uh, quite dependent on our um, vassals. But I think the one stack out here in Europe is going to be enough to... deal with the Ottomans as we are so much more powerful in many other ways. Let's have a look, 150, so he's got about three times that. He's got about three times that shoot. I mean, that was to be expected. Um, we're only gonna need one stack down here to stabilize. This is just our transports. Let's take the safe route up into Europe. something like that um, but we do have quite some time as we are overextended and we have more overextension to tap into so we've got we're able to be uh, quite time efficient here in the upcoming years uh, in terms of spending our uh oh pretender rebels in Muscovy he's just a vassal though right yeah it doesn't matter if they're successful um, with that being said, guys, I've looked at the situation here with Austria, and it has come to my attention that our diplomatic tech being lower than his is coming into play. Uh, I'm going to spend more prestige here, and hoping... No, damn it. Spending prestige here uh, because we gain so much of it per year, two per year. Um, trying to see if we can get him to kind of gauge where he's at in terms of relations uh but he's still at 100 damn damn that doesn't uh that doesn't feel too good man he's still at 100 liberty design i was hoping obviously this overextension and so on really affects him um i was hoping that if we did integrate bohemia and tuscany as well as expand uh we would be able to kind of curb his relations as we have seen them um, go below 100 liberty desire in the past however I think the modified the main thing the annex member of uh, empire annex vessel those modifiers are having a more uh, detrimental effect than actually increasing our comparative power for example so after boosting relations a little bit there, he's still at 100% liberty desire. I'm determined to get him, this guy. Ah, so Hungary is another guy we could go into. Um, I think that's a good choice as well, and come to think of it an easier choice. Because... Okay, Hungary just support independence of Austria, lol. Well, let's just declare on this guy. Uh, this is a good choice because, well... Very time efficient and easy. I've been wanting to attack uh, Europe lately. Europe shall be ours. So let's go. Um, I should make my way over to these forts. Got a stack down here ready to stabilize any further revolts, it looks like it is all stable, eh? 
and I imagine after converting it all, yeah, that's all stable. So I should definitely take that into consideration. I could free up a stack here. I didn't realize that those rebels were all uh, primarily one sort of faction. Uh, we convert really fast after boosting autonomy and adding it to a trading company. There's no incentive for any rebels to revolt here as well. So let's get a third stack prepared to help us crush the Ottomans. Um, the other thing is our truce comes up with France really soon. And although I did want to declare on the Ottomans because they're larger than any other European power, I think I might go into France as well for the sake of Portugal. Because Portugal still has these three provinces and I want to separate piece him and gain Portuguese Louisiana, etc. That's what I would love to do in a separate peace war. Uh, so we might go into France first. Ooh, Austria's moving around. What's the deal, Austria? Now, I did uh, bestow Imperial Grace on Austria. So let's, I guess, some nations we haven't done it. The, the time has... Uh, ticked by, I suppose. Looks like on most nations we have. Yeah, it's coming up one by one, it seems, bestowing Imperial Grace. Now, we're really struggling to actually get the relations with even Great Britain, man, to integrate him. Uh, it's a shame. Well, this is a fort level one in this day and age. My goodness. Silesia with his pathetic capital, but we did make make it there in time. It's very good. While well, we are almost perfectly overextended, man. Just under 100 feels good, man. So we are going for the full annexation of Hungary. I, I know we've got the war score, but let's quickly check. Do we have the... Uh, I mean the war score cost. Do we have the overextension? I think we can one hundy him. Oh, oh, he's just over. Uh, we do have time for a truce to come up with him. Uh, which I suppose we're going to have to wait for. So... In that case, we don't have to go for the full annexation. We can actually piece out with like 50% war score to make our truce timer uh, shorter. Do you know what I mean? In fact, if we look here, the overextension here is 32%. So let's try time it as so uh, we're at exactly 100 Got a few little troops here. What I will try and do is time it so that uh, perfectly, so that we piece out both Hungary and this nation, and we're at uh, 100 over extension, ready to go into another war with France, and then I suppose the Ottomans, or the other way around. But I think we're going to go into France. So he had 30. Okay. 67 plus what? What is it? 32? So that should be good. What's the decimal point? 0.6. So 2 here would be 69.6 plus 30 would be 99.6. So that should be good. Exactly that is just about as good as we could get it, I suppose. Yeah, this guy's ready to peace already. Um, but I'll make sure to continue to apply the pressure. Okay, we should add some of these to the trading company. Except the Catholic ones only. Same old deal. Same old deal. Nothing new here. 
and our influence should rise dramatically, I would say, over this region. Oh no, not so much over this region. It's this region that we have almost complete control over. Okay, some units arriving from sea. Very good. And we do have Spanish separatists incoming. Okay, we can take inflation reduction and in interest from the Pope. These are two ways to get uh, an easy prestige piecing out these wars. So I will try placate Austria again. And I suppose we're just waiting on this core. It's only been, it's only halfway there. The core is only halfway there. This guy keeps blocking me with my navy. Yep. With his navy, rather. What am I even saying? He is blocking my passage with his navy. Looks like we've got enough war score with the Hungarians already to take what we want. So, why don't I sit in on his capital for some good loot, as it's a devout 45, and it's farmlands. We shouldn't suffer attrition there in the farmlands. Great Britain's at 157 while we're at war. Not so good, man. Definitely not so good. Um, I wonder when our annexed subjects modifier is going to come up. It's going to come up in four years. So that plus three Diplo reputation should also help us to see where we're at with Austria. To gauge it, to gauge this situation. Let's go bring our navy back down to this region. Definitely want some navy down in this region in these island chains. Okay, so like I said, our tech is an issue. We could definitely tick up. Um, the longer we delay, the cheaper it is. So I'm going to wait at least until we're near capped on our Diplo. Okay, France enters a uh, support for Austria's independence. Same deal. We're just going to declare on France next, so that's not that big of a deal. If he did attack us, worst case scenario, we'd be fighting Austria as well. Definitely manageable. Not too worried about anybody supporting his independence at the moment. Now, our nice, our overextension <clears throat> has been paid off by the looks of things, or our corruption rather. My terminology is off. Too much total war for me, guys. I was playing some total war. My mind's not in it. Yeah, okay. So, therefore, we should be making some money. What's going on, game? Why we no make money. My trade is way worse. Why, does, why do we see that, like, dramatic shifts? Is that really just because I moved my guys to collect in these regions? That we lost like uh like fifteen ducats in Lebec, but also ten percent influence. Hmm. Well we are overextended one hundred percent. That's that's something. Obviously spending a lot of money there. Hmm. Let's have a look. Not 100% sure. Why? So much, so much porridge. I actually thought that we were, we were a little bit more affluent than that, but it, it could be the, uh, the overextension. 
that's doing it to us. I will take some admin for inflation there, so we're managing, we're on top of our inflation uh, very nicely. Very much on top of it. And uh, we're creeping closer and closer to piecing once again. One of these provinces is not part of the trading thingy. You got him. Just a few more days. So we're getting 12 Diplo per month. Gonna have to tick up here in a moment. There's no doubt about that. Hey, I thought we were in Pesh, dude. Did I misclick or something? What's going on with that? I must have just sent him to the wrong location. Okay, let's remember to do that before we peace out. Let's try placate once again. Still negative one. Oh, he's being supported though, remember. So he is going to be negative 100 being supported by France. There's no doubt about that. Um, we are now officially... Are you serious? <clears throat> I, didn't, I didn't call that up because it was Siege by Rebels. Lol. <laughs> I didn't call that up because it was Siege by Level Rebels. Lol. God dang it. So that's, let's be very, that is 5.2 over extension that we, we're not going to spend in Hungary. So we're looking for around 62 over extension. I think we're going to be content with 60. He's going to be well under, fully annexable regardless. So there we go. So that is 65 over extension plus 32. Take all this guy's money. Ninety-seven over extension. We're okay. We're all good. Mistakes were not made. Apart from a tiny little one of not coring up a province that was sieged by rebels because it was in between episodes and I forgot. We're okay. Time to kill these rebels. Um, Alright, one thing we can do to help our, our economy for sure is delete some forts. So, I think it's probably worth having one fort per island. Let's, let's look at it that way. One fort per island, so that, you know. Um, I mean, I don't know. I was thinking maybe that disincentivizes people from sort of sieging down that island, but I'm not sure that's good logic as well. Not sure that's good logic. These fort level twos are just complete garbage, I would suggest. Let's just eliminate them. And we'll keep one fort level four that he has here in the Philippines. Uh, so that's one way to try to help out our economy. But uh, what else? What about South Africa? Yeah, too many forts here. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse my sneeze, Arena. Um, let's delete one in the Cape. And we'll keep the one in the mountains, which is... Uh, much more defendable if I do say so, good sir. If I do say, good sir. Full of six, six. Uh, we'll delete this one. That gave us about an additional ten ducats per month. By the looks of things. Um, I like the ones in the hills. Let's get rid of this one. I like ones around France for this upcoming war. 
mountains. Let's get rid of this one. We don't need Italy to be so fortified. Now, we just took Hungary. Um, don't need this one in the grasslands. Why would we ever want that? Let's delete this one in the grasslands and this one. Man, Hungary was fortified all over the show. All kinds of fortification action. Uh, the one in the highlands is a little bit more appealing, but we're pretty damn... We're decked out. We're decked out with fortification. Okay. So, the damn French were supporting... Sure, Bavaria. We can improve relations with Bavaria by getting a royal marriage, and I will do it. Uh, the French were supporting the independence of Austria, and he's the only nation supporting the independence, so if we declare on France, we've got a lot to gain. We're going to separate piece Portugal to gain all of his colonies, and we're going to be able to really ascertain what the true liberty desire is of Austria when we declare the war but also it's going to be our second to last war with the French uh, let's have a look around Africa so we I want to make sure that we take their islands and so on that is available to eliminate their kind of overseas provinces so we can see what provinces that they have which are going to need to be um, seeded down. And it looks like France doesn't have much, many overseas provinces um, compared to his Portuguese and Spanish counterparts who seemed to have a ton of them. Okay. Dally into, the, into a coalition? Well, I suppose let's quickly declare this war before France joins that coalition. Let's use some of our ships inherited by Tuscany to uh, <gasps> help bolster our Poor little transports here, which are just trying Ah, the Pope into support for independence. What the? God dang it. I think, I think Rome's about to fall, guys. I think Rome's about to fall. The, the thing is, if uh, we take Rome, then we get this modifier. Shoot, man. God dang it. It's like everybody just wants to support his independence all of a sudden. Everybody be, be loving Austria. Uh, now the French have a tremendous amount of troops, but of course so much of that, I believe, is out in the New World. I just want to get onto this island if possible, the Portuguese island. If possible. While it's going to be uh, super piecing him is going to be more important to me than anything else. Okay. I need to re-roll these. Looking for a... Uh, Plus three diplomat. Plus three diplo reputation diplomat. This is a bad place to be fighting France's heavies, so let's uh, consolidate our navy a little bit if we can. And then get them back onto going onto into Portugal. Alright, I guess we should use our troops to fight the French a little bit considering they're they're pretty beastly. I think they actually out-tech us. Yes, they do. Let's tick up the negative five military. I'm happy to do that. Not going to improve our cannons just yet. 
but we're going to be fighting in the grasslands here. He's got negative one to rolls, and we've got a ridiculously good general outnumbered. Hoping some of our dudes come to reinforce us a little bit here if we're lucky. Easy. Easy, mate. Too, too, just too good. So let's go ahead. That's probably a good time to upgrade our units while most of his forces are retreating. We've still got 50% morale, roughly. We've got some morale by the looks of things. And just do some general cheeky relations improving with some factions around the show. Uh-huh. Maybe one of these modifiers. I noticed we, we are making some money now all of a sudden. I don't know why the uh, trade in, in Lebec is just so flamboyant. Dramatically changing every now and then. But what I do know is 15% tax modifier influences our economy big time and uh, maybe that is why maybe that contributed to the uh what we were seeing the uh how poorly our maybe uh, excuse me our economy was doing we're gonna take up our diplo for negative 10 and once again because the dam Oh, is supporting independence of Austria. We can't get a clear understanding of what his true liberty desire is. But you know what? I, uh, having thought about it, I think I'll just declare on the Pope and just like white peace him. I think that's what I'll do. So we got a shorter truce time with him. Okay, let's jump onto here. So this, we've got to remember to do this separate piece of Portugal. That looks like it's his only fort. And I guess let's quickly check now. Let's have a look here. I think he has some land in Mexico still, right? I think he might have been like Colin. Yeah, there we go. This is Portugal Major. Now... Somewhere there's more Portugal, I think. Because it should say... That you will inherit his uh, nation. So where the hell is this guy? This sucks. Uh, I think I think that's all of him, right? Somebody posted in my comments that it should say that we inherit his nations. Let's have a look here. Uh, they will seed. These are the provinces we've selected. Will cost Diplo. Suffer aggressive expansion. Prestige. Portugal gets... He's still alive. He has other areas. Because of his war score cost here. He does have other areas. Um, the question is where? Where the hell? We can't use our at war. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to, to spot them. Did I select these? All of them? He's got nine war score cost worth of provinces. Must be... It must be uh, uh, one of these islands, right? That we just missed. That must be it. Because they're hard to see. Here. Yeah. Yep, he's still alive. That's how we can check if he's still alive. His overall war score cost. So, where are you? This is all one island chain. Um... I believe this is all colonial nation, Australia. Dude. 
Where the heck is this guy? I thought that one province was it, but there's more. I don't know where. Lol, this is a pretty epic end to the episode, guys. I'm just looking for Portugal. <sighs> I don't know where. There. That's France. Damn it. So, we've got to make a mental note of that. There's a fort on those provinces that we need to take. Where the hell is Portugal? Damn it. There should be a way to, like, fully annex them. So what I could do, guys, in between episodes, is I could do this. I could go around and click on every province. Which would not take that long, to be honest. Um, pretty tedious, but I should be able to, like, locate. Well, where is this? Yeah. I should be able to locate, like, each province by clicking on it in this manner, but pretty tedious. I mean, you can see we're probably already encroaching on 10% of the way, but it's not perfectly clear, you know. You have to kind of check everything. Um, Turkish Islands, that's it. No, god damn it, that's Cuba, of course. That's, that's the Caribbean, god damn it, because I'm convinced it's like an island somewhere. Uh, well, how lame is that, guys? How lame is that? I think I'll try to do that in between episodes and actually locate where he... Huh? I see ya. I see ya, Portugal. Did I unselect everything else? What's going on? There it is. Wow. I found him, guys. It was that, bu that booger. Look at him. Okay, and there's there's no forts. There's no forts apart from his capital. Okay. Phew. Found them. That was awkward. Got him. Um, kind of lucked out there. Okay, so, whew. I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Um, sorry for the kind of ending like that. Pretty awkward. Uh, I was thinking there needs to be like a full annex, annex button or something to kind of, you know, prevent you from seeing all of, all of these provinces, you know. But it's whatever. We found it eventually um so this uh how much overextension is that going to be from portugal it's only going to be 10 percent. so what i plan to do is uh fight this war until we've caught up all of these province provinces and we're going to fully annex portugal um We demand their full annexation. Yep. Uh huh. Let's let's unselect the Turkish Islands. It's good. So I'm not sure that it does say, unless I'm just overlooking it here because I'm distracted. But we, it does say full annexation. We got him. We got him. So what I'm gonna do is uh, work on the French. And we're going to take 90% war score from the French. Let's have a look. Get a kind of idea what that would look like. 90% war score. Uh, overextension, rather. 90% overextension. So something like this. Diminishing him even further. Um, and we, we learned that there's a fort down here that needs to be occupied when we go for the full, full annexation of France. Um... Yeah, so that's going to be next episode, guys. We're going to be coring stuff up, fully annexing Portugal, hopefully uh, inheriting all of his uh, colonial nations, the three colonial nations that he does have, going for the full annexation, or, or partly annexing France, and uh, then going into the Ottomans after that. So I'm trying to be as time efficient as possible. Uh, like, with our overextension, I think we're doing a pretty damn good job of that. We're really far ahead in our admin, but we're spending it big time. The other thing I got to keep an eye out for is I, I need a Diplo Rip Advisor. That's something I don't really want to uh, forget about. Um, and the other thing I need to remember is let's 
declare a quick war on the Pope and to, to break his support for independence. And uh, actually, it just occurred to me, maybe he was at 100% because somebody else was supporting who I didn't realize, but nope, it's just the Pope. Yep, so uh, that's what we'll be doing next episode, continuing this war with Portugal, fully annexing him, f f taking a big chunk of France, and then going into the Ottoman Empire after that, all the while hoping that these negative modifiers begin to diminish so that after, you know, improving relations, royal marriage, influence nation, give them money. If we're in debt, we can we can take more of uh, corruption if we want to, to give them money uh, in an effort to get their relations up <laughs> before the end of the game to begin integrating these fools. Looking pretty grim in that regard, but we are the brand of beast. We always have been the brand of beast and uh, pretty cool, pretty lol and funny either way. Hope you guys are enjoying. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.